hey guys welcome back thanks for joining back to watch the video i hope you're having a great time and i hope your work is going on well as always you know i have an, a number of interesting updates for this video for you and let me start with the update concerning nigerian super falcons and it's been said now that they are going to officially open their camping on thursday which is next tomorrow ahead of that uh, olympic games uh competition that we are built to play uh from the 25th of this month so you know there's no time again we obviously have a match on the 25th which is the day that the olympic starts and right now the camp is uh, going to be open nff has sanctioned that one that coach rani wardrum is going to head the girls out of the country to spain because that's where they are going to be holding this camping and uh from the arrangement they hope to start training from the 5th of july up to like 16th of july and within this time frame they also hope to play at least one friendly one very competitive friendly from uh preferably a country that's within the olympics this friendly could be played either against france canada new zealand or colombia one of these countries you know that's the report and the reason for this is to actually test them with a real competitive game so that it will prepare them very well before this uh the kickoff uh, with their first olympic games on the uh, 25th against brazil our group in this competition is a fairly difficult group to be in and we have uh, you know world champions current uh, world cup champion spain and uh um, japan who are the, are the former world champions and then brazil uh, also in our group it's the group c so this is going to be a very very interesting uh group it's like basically the group of that you know in this olympics but uh, the nigeria Spa falcons have also held their grounds they've 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 proven to be a very tough side we saw that in the last uh, you know, World Cup in Australia where they came out of a really, really tough group. So the girls who want to go out and prove critics wrong again. And one positive, you know, that could actually make this work is the fact that uh, the Nigerian Super Falcons defender Ashley Plumcher has now uh, returned from injury. She has now left rehab and has now, you know, returned to uh, training. So this is it's possible that we could see her uh make the list once randy wardrum announces it and of course we are hoping to uh see the list uh come out in the next coming hours because you know the list is going to come out obviously before the camp uh opens on thursday but uh i'll keep my fingers crossed on that one and then let you guys know as soon as anything is out we don't but still related to the female team and and frankly this one is really annoying because it's nff uh, you know at it again trying to sabotage a, a an innocent coach who's just trying to uh, get the best team uh selected and go on out to the olympic and try to win something uh so based on the reports there are two nfs officials a female and a male uh precisely have now tried to impose francesca odega the striker of the csk moscow women's team into randy wardrums uh team sheets for the olympics without his consent uh, you know without his consent this is crazy this was actually exposed by another nff's official who didn't want his name to be mentioned because he wasn't permitted to speak about this outside but he eventually uh told you know the newsmen it's he told punch uh media uh, you know about these plots or conspiracy from uh, a certain high-level NFFs officials who are trying to uh, gain favor for uh, you know Odega to be in the team because they are friends with her, and of course you know this is going to dislodge the teams because once you're trying to bring in someone who doesn't deserve to be there based on performance, then you're obviously removing people who are supposed to be in the team who are who have performed and proven themselves you know just to uh put in that person that you want to favor so that's what's currently happening with the team now and frankly it has put uh the female team in a bit of a chaos or confusion because you know the players are now murmuring within themselves they are not happy the younger players there they feel like you know their, their slot is going to be sacrificed to bring in a certain old overage player who is not really even uh playing very well. Last time Odega made an appearance for the Nigeria Super Falcons, it was uh, at the uh, World Cup in Australia. And frankly, she did not really perform very well, which, you know, of course, is the reason why she has been left out, hasn't really been included in recent Super Falcons outings. 
There was no justification trying to impose players on coaches. It's not done anywhere. Once these officials start to do these things because they, they are friends with certain players, then they are going to, uh, you know, scatter the plans, scatter the, the preparations and everything that we've been building, you know, for several months ahead of this competition. They should just let this coach be the coach, be the man, be the authority, you know, select the players that he wants to select and leave out the ones that he doesn't feel that they can do anything in the competition. That's how it should work. Next thing, if this coach goes and doesn't perform, it's still the same officials that will write the sack later that they are going to, you know, uh, tender to the man. So I don't see any reason. They should allow him to do his job, you know, and I hope that this will be sorted out soon. Uh, the NFL's uh, president should look into this because it's it's in the news it's everywhere you know so that they will allow this man to do his job without interference of any sort but leaving that update guys let me let you know that Fisal Adele Bashiru has now completed a loan move from Hatay Sport to Lazio of course in the last couple of days we've been uh, talking about that uh, the possibility of him switching to Lazio but it's a loan move uh, that's worth 2 million euros and the report is that uh, Hatay Sport has, has now mandated Lazio to buy him him after that loan deal for an extra 4 million euros you know to be paid to Hatay Sport. So the young man has a big season ahead of him uh, as he is going to be expected to prove his words. You remember that he was very very instrumental for Hatay Sport last season as he helped them escape relegation you know by scoring uh, nine goals and providing six assists in the Turkish Super League and Lazio is going to hope that the you know they've made a really good use of their money and hopefully he performs well and get a permanent deal last week was also a very important week for Fisal Dele Bashiru's elder brother Tom Dele Bashiru as he signed a contract extension uh, with Watford three years contract extension to be precise his his last contract was supposed to expire 2025 but you know because of his uh, stellar performance they gave him an extra three years uh, contract so this is going to now keep him at the club until 2028 big congrats to both brothers and we wish them all the best in their respective uh, club sites for the last years guys let me let you know that anthony wakeme has now returned back to europe with strasbourg so after he had a two-year spell with al Feha of the Saudi Pro League, Transponso decided to buy him uh, because he's, you know, he had a decent re uh, re record with them. Previously, you know, he played uh, for the club from 20 2018 to 2022. And uh, he had some really decent statistics in terms of goals and assists, which is why the club has started to invest on him again to bring him back uh, at the club. A man is going to hope to link up with fellow Nigeria Spigos attacker uh, Paul Onwachu to get the goals, get the assists, you know, win games for Trasbon so ahead of the next season. But that's the update, guys. Thanks for watching this one. Don't forget to like and share the video. Leave your reaction uh, to any of the uh, updates that you like. Stay tuned to the channel. More updates on Raveling.